this one. All right, oh. so I'm hoping that I, mean, they know I can get my voice over on this. I've been up with Indy since you like 7.30 this morning. You so I decided I was going to play a little bit of zombies. You talking and to me? I found some cool crap, so I'm going to see if I can walk, it, walk you guys through this real quick. First thing I do is open this door straight out of the gate. Because we can get up into this other area, which is kind of cool. So we just grapple up here. And then this part, it took me a while to figure out exactly where to go, but after you do like one time, then you kind of get the hang of it. But yeah, then that opens the staircase and gives you another way to get out if you get stuck in this alley. Which is super nice. Put crap on. Got that thing. Alright. So, hey, stay where you are. There you go. So yeah, it's cool. It opens up this whole other area up there, but I'm going to show you. I pretty much figured out how to do the entire first ritual that we have to do, so I'm going to do that. Keys are useful, so you got to get the summoning key, key, and then you have to find these artifacts, and this first one's actually really easy to grab, so you just have to run over here. Okay, it's double XP weekend this weekend too, so I've upgraded like tons of my stuff and zombies just playing this morning. And you gotta come over to this box right here, and then what happens is it turns this crane on, and we'll drop this box right here that actually has one of the artifacts that we need in it. I just wanna make sure, oh, I gotta turn this thing on over here. Just because. Put that on. And then we go we'll grab this fountain pen or whatever. What just happened? Someone slipped me a Mickey. Oh, first I gotta get the shotgun though. It's nice to have the shotgun when I freaking grab that thing. I could have done with this back on the out. beat. Yeah, as you'll see, I freaking decked out the shotgun with oh, yeah. like a laser Free sight, out. and I got all this stuff on it. So playing on the weekends, the upgrades are super fast. <coughs> So then what you do is you pick up this fountain pen that's right there that drops in the box. This guy shows oh up. And then got his buddy. Okay, and now that you have both the fountain pen and the summoning key thing, we can come up this way. And it leads into this other area over here. I'm going to try to do the ritual. Sometimes I die when I do this, but you just come to this altar. Drop the pen and you put the everything down, and then stuff starts going nuts. So, usually I just run this circle right here. Seems to work pretty well. But yeah, you kind of just have to, like, it's not even a matter of killing as many guys as you can. Eventually, this guy gets sacrificed, and then everybody kind of blows up. And once that happens, then it drops this worm thing I think they're gonna need later. So, you know, I can pick think that of a few up. places I'd like to shove this. The worm must be taken to the sacred place. Um, and then and actually you have up means here. Sacred place. Really? Then what? Some worm monster comes for its babies? And then there's one other thing too I want to show you. Since I'm playing. I know this is gonna end up being kind of long, but um yeah, if we go to the waterfront district. Which actually is kind of cool anyway because this red ball right here that's broken actually says that there's going to be a certain power up this way. I watched that online. If you do that and then you grab this beast thing and you grapple. Oh, right there. Can you come around this way. Turn this staircase on. And then that actually is going to lead you to this machine right here called Juggernog. And this gives you extra health, which is totally awesome. Like, I think if everybody in our group got that, then we'd be in good shape, but yeah, come out of that. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you, like this is all yeah, random crap years. that I saw this morning. So, finally, there's this door right here. If we break through that with the beast, then there's a portal in there that takes us to this other area. Yeah. Which is great, because this gives you another way to get out if you need to. I'd give you all a final warning, but I think I'd rather just put I you down. i find a beast to do it. So, I have to run all the way over here. 
Ah, yes. There we go. Let's see if I can make this run right here. This will be interesting. Yeah, so this is what I did with Indy this morning. Went out and played zombies. So yeah, you open up that door, there's this rift right here. If you open up that rift... I'm gonna go back to healing real quick. <coughs> you wanna know so what's weird? All the way back I'm there. getting used to that. If I can get back here, then I mean sometimes there's a mystery box here too. Like they switch places. These are all things I've learned. Which because on solo it's like you can get these first couple of waves down and uh without too much happening really and so i've been able to kind of explore a lot this morning so you come into this new sub this subway area and there's a sorcerer dude to take them out they're really not that hard to kill then the next thing you can do is become the beast again and if you come up this way turn that machine on this way but then there's this box here turn that on that opens up this area here which normally is just this dead end at the bottom of this shaft um, but it just gives you another way that you can escape like if you're up in that area fighting and you need to run somewhere you can get yourself down here which is super nice um, there's also Anyone another perk down here called that? widow's wine that Still it's like four thousand bucks so I haven't been able to buy it but anyway that's pretty much all the cool stuff I saw this morning so there you go